Hi, I'm Paul Isaacs, and I'd like to give you a tour of the features of the new CL12 linear fader controller for the 688, which is now shipping. So let's first take a look at the various panels. So the CL12 top surface can broadly be divided into three sections. There's the channel strip section, which includes the 12 linear faders. These are very low latency faders. Each channel strip includes a PFL, a select button for selecting various input parameters for adjustment, and then there's various LEDs which tell us about the, the, uh, whether the channel is on, whether it's armed, whether mix assist is active, and also PFL metering. The top section includes three band EQ control. It includes output metering for left, right, X1 and X2 buses. And then we have output level control. And these can also be used for routing and arming left, right, X1 and X2. On the right hand side, we have various control buttons. At the very top, we have transport control, stop and record. Below that, we have what we call the channel select tools, which allow us to toggle the, uh, a channel on or off, whether it's armed, we can name a channel toggle high pass filter and phase reverse. Below that is our metadata control where we can very quickly edit scene take notes metadata, make a take false, we can also circle a take and even increment the scene. Below that we have another shortcut section including three user programmable buttons U1 to U3 and these can be programmed to many different functions. We also have a shortcut to the SL6 super slot, and also a timecode jam menu shortcut. Below that is our comms and return section, and below that further are the meters and menu button, which duplicate our meters and menu button on the 688 front panel itself. And finally, in the bottom right-hand corner, we have a headphone level control and a headphone preset control. So let's take a look at the CL12 rear panel. And as you can see, there's various ports. There's three USB-A ports, a quarter inch socket, and a micro USB port. Now the USB-A port marked to six series mixer is what is used to connect to the 688. Using our supplied USB cable connects one end to the CL12 and the other end to the USB-B connector on the 688. The port marked light can be used for connecting a USB lamp so that you can illuminate the top surface in darkened conditions. The port next to that is for uh, plugging in a USB keyboard and the port next to that is a quarter inch socket. Now this connects to the 688 headphone out using the supplied quarter inch to quarter inch cable and this allows us to provide headphone monitoring from the front of the CL12 itself. And finally, next to that, we have a port marked DC Boost Input. And you can use an external uh, USB 5 volt supply to uh, plug in, and that can help to drive the CL12 LEDs to a brighter level. And it can also be used to help drive, uh, for instance, USB keyboards that demand more current. So now let's take a look at the headphone outputs on the front of the CL12. You can see that we have a quarter inch headphone output and a three and a half millimeter headphone output.